Hey everyone, Soundwave884 here, and I haven't done a video on this yet, but we've had a lot of reveals this week, and I was going to do a video on it on Tuesday, but I was at a doctor's appointment with my youngest daughter, and then I had to go to work, then I had to work Wednesday, and then I take her to another appointment, and so I just now got a chance to sit down and really film this video. I didn't want to just give a quick, hey, this is coming out, and just throw out some pictures real fast and just give a quick blurb about it. I actually want to go a little bit more, not in-depth, but just talk about it a little bit more. Just give you my actual thoughts and on these uh, reveals, releases, and leaks. And it's a good thing I did wait, because we've got a few more things that kind of came out Wednesday and today that's going to, uh, I want to talk about. It's been revealed or leaked out. Now, I, I want to, we got some more pictures of, like, Origins Little Jack. we got some new core class, third-party core class figures of Megatron. That, that is something I, I want to talk about. And we've got other things as well. So what I'm going to do, uh, this video is going to be a little bit longer than probably a normal quick like video like this. So I'm going to break it down to chapters. So I'm trying to put little chapter breaks down on the bottom. So if there's a certain thing you're wanting to hear about, you can just go down there and find which you know, figure or reveal you want to see. That way you can just skip ahead in the video. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with uh, Hasbro. They re actually released a little press thing talking about the 40 years of Transformers. And they're going to be doing a lot of stuff for G1 uh, this year. I did make a video last week on how there's not much G1 toys in the upcoming Legacy United line. And yeah, we've got more G1 toys in past lines than we are getting in Legacy. But we're getting a lot of other G1 stuff. We're getting the, the Optimus Prime G1 figure that has more articulation coming out. Uh, we got you know, we just got Masterpiece Hoist came out, and then we're going to get even more stuff in G1. It's not necessarily toys, but we're going to get other items, other things as well. And one of the things I'm really excited for, and it's just something that throws me back to being a kid again. So first thing I'm going to do is read a little bit of what Hasbro released. And right here it says, drawing inspiration from the brand's origins in 1984, Hasbro will launch an exciting array of products, promotions, experiences, and action-packed content throughout 2024 allowing new generations to discover where it all began. So if we can go with their official products, of course they announced the HasLab, not G1, but that is Robots in Disguise 2001 or Car Robots. And uh, that is getting close to the 10,000 uh, goal to hit to be funded and fully backed. And then we'll try to hit the tiers of things at 13,000, you get the sword, and at 16,000 you get the uh, display stands. Which we have until March 14th, let's see. At 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to back this. So we got another over a month to get behind this project here. We have over 40 distinct Hasbro Transformers anniversary figures will be available across the year-long celebration. Each product packaging will be branded with the Transformers 40th anniversary logo, including the recent reveal of Transformers Generations Comic Edition, Shockwave, and Grimlock. In March, Hasbro Pulse will kick off the 40th anniversary with a Hasbro Pulse fan stream and weekly fan-focused content. So that is excellent. We're actually going to get a new live stream in March. I'm sure maybe then in that live stream we'll get some things actually revealed. Hopefully it all won't be already leaked out to us through other channels on the internet. Now I know some things that came out this past week on the internet didn't come from Hasbro itself. but came through IGN and uh, I think comicbook.com. And these are sites that Hasbro gave them this to show. So it still came through Hasbro. It's not through some other leak thing. So these are the licensed products they will be throwing out this year from Hasbro and other companies that Hasbro has done deals with. I'm excited for this one. Music. Fans can jam out with the Transformers 40th Anniversary Vinyl Album. Hasbro presents Transformers music from the original animated series. I have a record up there already of some of this. I won't forget a little few more tracks that we can get on that. Uh, featuring the 1984's Transformers Classic Anime Series Seasons 1 through 3, originally released in 2019 with over 45 minutes of music. This reissue album includes bonus tracks and a mixture of remastered orchestral and 80s inspired synth tracks from the original tapes by composer Rob Walsh. The album will also be available digitally. Wow, that's awesome. For the first time across all digital music pl 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 talk platforms, pre orders open July 26. So mark that on the calendar because uh, I might still get the vinyl, but I also will buy that digitally because that'd be something to listen to. Freaking, I can jam to some old <laughs> classic G1 cartoon music. Yeah, cool. Then we're getting some fashion. 
Mad Engine, a new line of t-shirts has been created at Transformers 40th anniversary, which features artwork based on the original Transformers comics, as well as new designs to commemorate the milestone. Fans can find the full assortment now on Amazon.com. Now toys and collectibles. Uh, Jada Toys. Now this is one I've seen a lot of people already comment in that they're just why kind of things. And I can see that because you know, the Jada Toys makes the die cast vehicles. Now they don't transform. You know, the only thing that ever gets released pretty much that Transformers is made by Hasbro. You know, the other companies license something from Hasbro, their stuff usually does not transform. And Jada Toys is just a die cast car, uh, you no, know, you no know, collectible thing anyway. It's not a transforming, it's not really action figures, but they have it making shoot Street Fighter. I think Street Fighter action figures. So we're getting two new 124 scale die cast vehicle mashups inspired by Transformers and Ghostbusters. And so I guess the hit Ghostbusters is coming out this year as well. Why not just tie the two together? Uh, they will, will arrive this fall. We'll get Ghostbusters Ecto-1 with Optimus Prime G1 graphics. And then we'll also get a G1 Optimus Prime with Ghostbusters Ecto-1 graphics. Uh, now the pictures I will put up on here to talk about some of these things. Well, I have pictures of, I will throw them up on the video as I talk about it. The vehicles feature premium sculpt and paint finishes, as well as highly detailed interiors, exteriors, and more. Now, much what we already got just some new paint apps, new decos, and stuff like that. We already got a G1 Optimus Prime. We already got the Ecto-1. That just changed up the sculpt. Not the sculpts, but the paint and stuff. Oh, this company here, Super 7. <laughs> new characters in blind box. That's cool. Reaction and Super Cyborg formats will be available for purchase starting this fall on Super7.com. As are Pulse.com, as well as other major retailers including Amazon, Target, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Macy's, and more. Follow Super 7's social media channels for product announcements and launch timing. So, again, Super 7 makes Transformer stuff that it doesn't transform. They're first just either big action figures or smaller three and three quarters inch action figures based on like the old Kenner style. Funko! Fans can look forward to additional Transformers pop figures this summer. Also, get some more from Figpin. Extra large couple enamel pins feature Office Prime Metron in a six inch format. Pins are cool. I'm not that big into those things, but I'm just going to mention it anyway. Something from the New Zealand Mint. In celebration of 40th anniversary Transformers series, Hasbro and New Zealand Mint are excited to unveil a limited edition pure silver, silver, God, silver collectible of the first Transformers comic cover. This exclusive piece is not only a nod to the enduring legacy of the Transformers universe, but also a testament to the fine craftsmanship and attention to detail that New Zealand Mint is renowned for. The release of this collectible marks the beginning of an exciting series of Transformers themed coins. That's cool. Designed to captivate both longtime enthusiasts and new fans alike. That's pretty cool. Get some coins. And of course, you get 3 0, the limited edition Transformers ML MDLX Optimus Prime Vintage Animation Edition. We get Bumblebee and Megatron. Our 3 0 is redesigned versions of the classic Transformers characters in celebration of Transformers 4th anniversary. I've seen a lot of that. I have none of that. I've seen a lot of people with that stuff in online. Looks cool. It's just not my bag, baby. So I watched some of Austin Powers, and that's old. Publishing. Of course, we know about Skybound Entertainment with the image Transformers comic books. That's cool. Now, here's, what, here's one other thing I'm really excited for besides the uh, vinyl album and stuff. I'm excited for this. Dynamite and an Entertainment. Collect a new set of nearly 200 premium trading cards featuring fan-favorite characters from the Transformer brand's Generation 1 era. Showcasing classic art styles from an international array of top artists and Hasbro's design archives. More information and product previews will be shared in the future. Now that is something I'm really interested in. I remember being a kid getting the old Transformers collectible cards. It had like the scenes from the cartoon on there. And it also had like the, the, you know, the box art and stuff like that. Those cards were a big thing of my childhood. I remember I carry those around with me a lot. And that's this. Besides the Transformers themselves, I really enjoyed just looking at those cards. Promotions. Monroe, one of the United States' leading automotive service and tire providers, will offer Transformer-themed auto service packages now through March 31st. The program will include special offers, giveaways, and more at participating Monroe locations. For, for more information, visit corporate.monroe.com slash overview slash def. D-E-F. Entertainment. The 40th anniversary celebration shifts into high gear with Paramount's highly anticipated animated projects released this year with the second season of the original kids series Transformers Earthspark and Transformers 1. The first ever fully CG animated theatrical movie debuting in theaters on September 13th.
I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I know a lot of people are not liking it because, you know, we got Chris Hemsworth as Optimus Prime. But, hey, it's before he's... I think it's supposed to be... Uh, more, more, you know, I think it's supposed to be a Ryan Pax more in the movies. It's like the pre... I'm fine. As long as they do a good job, I'm okay with it. Also, if you're a fan of The Masked Singer, fans can tune into a special Transformers-themed Masked episode during Season 11, The Masked Singer, premiering this spring on Fox. So, updates on these projects and other special entertainment uh, and content planned during Transformers Warner Anniversary will be coming soon. So, that's a lot of stuff in this little release coming out Transformers G1. This took a lot of time. It's probably the longest section here of my video. And so, I was just kind of going through all that. So, now we're going to move on to other things. And we're going to talk first about McFarlane. This came out, I think, before all this other stuff hit. Their page punchers were revealed and put up on HasbroPulse.com. They had G.I. Joe and Transformer page punchers. They are, as a current of filming, this sold out on Hasbro Pulse's site. And also, you can go buy them from like Amazon and stuff. And now, I've seen page punchers. I remember when they first showed up in Target a couple years ago. I saw those like page punchers. I was like, huh, interesting. It's a comic book, and you get like a little mini, like two inch, two and a half inch. I don't know. It's really small figure, action figure in there. It's like. McFarlane was all these seasons like Superman, Batman, you know, Shazam, stuff like that. And they're like $9.99. I was like, well, that's awful. You get a comic book, you get a figure. But I'm like, yeah, it's a niche market. Now, it's not something that's going to appeal to the masses. It's for somebody who wants to like a little display piece to put on a shelf somewhere. Say they got a big collection of Superman, they want a comic book or something in the middle. You can do something like that. But something, you know, it's just, they don't really, it's not something that I can see being a big seller anywhere. It's just something you see that is like, that's kind of cool. I might get that. I might put that on my shelf. So we got the Transformers. It's two two packs. We get uh, Megatron and Optimus Prime, and we get Will Jack and we get Bumblebee. Now these figures come with a comic book, pretty much like a, a spotlight issue per se. And so you get the comic book and you get two figures. You get two comic books, two figures, and two stands. So you can actually put the comic book into the stand that holds your comic book up. You have your figure, and you can put the figure on the stand as well. It's got a little peg thing. You can just put them on there. So it's sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents per pack, so, and that's for seventeen bucks per month. You get two little mini figures and two comic books, which stands. I mean, that's a neat little idea. Like it's, it's a neat little thing, but it's not something these transformers do not transform. They have probably limited articulation on them, and but in the Megatron is based on his appearance in the Lost Light Optimus Prime. He still looks like G one Prime to me. Bumblebee, I mean Will Jack, they look fine. Again, it's it's a little project. I might grab these if they go on clearance or something like that. I mean, seventeen bucks isn't really a bad price. I mean, I said you get two comic books with stands to stand them up and two little mini figures. But still, it's not that bad price in today's market with how things, you know, how much things cost anyway. Oh, uh, now we're gonna move on to the Grimlock Shockwave comic book pack. So these are pretty cool. I actually like the idea of these. They, the way the boxes are, they kind of remind me of like NECA. When you get a box, they have the like Velcro. You open it up, you can see the figure inside, and close it back up. And you have a nice display box. You can open it up, take the figure out, and it's it's a neat little collectible. I think they're sort of trying to hit that kind of market with the look of this. And I actually like it. The Shockwave, I mean, take the old Siege mold. That's what this is, and they just redecorate it. And it's got more of a comic book look to it, like it came out of the pages of a comic book. And also, you get some cool accessories with. The Shockwave. Now, Shockwave, of course, is a Voyager class transformer. Uh, now, the old Shockwave we got in Siege was sold at a leader price point. It came with some, you know, extra crap like a surfboard or something. I can't remember. It's it's in a bucket somewhere, but I have to figure it. Out. Now, this figure here comes with Optimus Prime's severed head. <laughs> so, for like issue, I think it's issue four or five, and I think six in that comic series. I think it's issue five. Of what it was is where you know Optimus Prime's head, and then Buster comes in and Prime you know puts the creation matrix into buster and stuff like that and so you were getting that look and i think that's pretty cool and it's supposed to retail for around 39.99 so it's not that bad you get a voyager class transformers which are around 35 bucks now anyway and you get a neat little optimus prime head uh, again it's not a big seller it's people who who enjoy things redecoed into out of the comic books and i like the comic book look for some of their characters anyway uh, so it's nice to have options. We get the Grimlock, and then again, it's done more in the comic book colors. It's got the blue instead of like the black. I kind of wish they'd done the head sculpt because the comic book they had him in his early head sculpt. Um, but I guess since they already had all the accessories, you know, made for the other head sculpt, they just did it this way, which is fine. They're gonna save money. 
the end of the day, he came out of the combo. He actually comes with two of the other uh, Dinobots swords. I think it's Sludge and... I can't remember the other one. But he comes with more accessories. His gun, his sword, crown, and two other swords. So he's... Puts retail for around 60 bucks. So about $5 more than a Voyager. But if people who missed out on the Studio Series 86 Grimlock, you could pick this up. Now the colors aren't totally right for the animation. But it's pretty much it's the same as that figure. And it's pretty dang close. Those two, I might pick those up. If I do, I'll probably grab the Shockwave first. Because I really want the Optimus Prime accessory. Uh, Grimlock, I'm fine on. But over time, it's pretty cool. I'm sure, the Grim, I'm sure they probably both sell out when they get put up for sale. Moving on to uh, Legacy United Leader Class, Triple Changer Sandstorm was revealed. Uh, he's 3 and one and I think they did an excellent job on this guy. Now, you can say his legs are a little bit skinny, and he's got the, he's got the big backpack. But he's pretty much downright to his toy or animation model. Plus, it comes with a cage. Um, the thing is, also, the cage becomes part of the Doom Buggy mode that goes on the back. Now, if we look at the pictures here, he's got a more toy. He's got the toy details on him. But he's got more of the proportions and look to his G1 cartoon animation model. Now his head sculpt is a mix of toy and tune. He's got the tune shape of the head, a little orange helmet, and the eyes. But he's got the uh, the toy like mouth plate and everything. So it looks really cool. I, I mean, I got no complaints on the figure overall. It's something I'd get in hand. But I do really like the look of this guy. I, mean, I always like... Uh, his brief appearances in the G1 cartoon. Uh, I really like the Thrilling 30 version we got of him as well. And I like to get this version. I think it looks really cool. I like the triple changers. I like for them to get on top of and get us a new Octane. We need a new Octane. We already know we're getting a new Springer. Uh, I, honestly, I kind of like for them to redo Astro Train. I think Blitzwing was fine. He was pretty close to his G1 look. But, I mean, I, the Jet Mode was more of a letdown. But, I think... Astro, Astro Train needs to be retouched, and uh, maybe he gives new Octane. Moving on to some more reveals, we got some actual pictures here. We got official pictures of Origins Wheeljack. Uh, now, of course, people are complaining about the big blue shield hanging off his back. I mean, it's they just put him on his back. You don't have to put him on his back. They actually formed the blast shield that comes up in that cartoon, or you can put them together and it actually makes like the roadway he can roll on or he hovers above. Uh, again, I don't know if many people are actually buying this guy for the robot mode. You're buying it for the gimmick and the alt mode. Buying it for the alt mode, the big box, and for the gimmick of taking your Origins Bumblebee and shoving him right in his ass. So overall, I think he looks pretty cool. And also comes with little blades, the little fans, so he cut through. But you're also going to use those as Dominator discs from that one episode when they uh, take over uh, Devastator. Now he is a deluxe sized bot, but he's Voyager class price. He's like 36 bucks. Now we got some leaked in hand in hand images of the uh, G1 Studio Series Will Jack. It's going to be in the five pack. Uh, he is pretty plain because he's just pretty straight white with a little bit of color, which is how he looks. Instead of getting the 538, again, we got the 638 number on the side of the vehicle mode. I don't know. He looks fine. He actually comes, I would, I would hope, a gun and his shoulder cannon. So. Thank you, Hasbro, for doing that. So that gives me hope that Sunstreaker will come with the same. He'll come with the gun thing and use it. It can be his backpack. So he actually have an actual handheld rifle. Because you know the hounds will come with two weapons. Now we get Wooljack with two weapons. Uh, Trailbreaker, I think he has two. I don't remember. Uh, then he, you got the little cannon here and you got his, his little hand cannon. And now you have Wooljack with two I can't wait for this five pack. Now, honestly, we got some other news coming. Uh, Hazard Pulse was on out on February, I think it's 27th. At this time of the morning, I'll put a picture up so you can see it. Uh, something is going on sale. And they, they put they have five reasons why. So you know what's going to be the five pack. Five reasons is the five pack. It's going to go up for pre-order. So on Hasbro Pulse, I believe it's like Big Bad Toy Store, GameStop, and websites like that it's not going to be on like walmart or target in stores it's just going to be online most likely through them maybe through like specialty shops and stuff so it's going to be a nice pack they do the same thing with sunstreaker that they're doing here with uh will jack giving us two weapons overall i think he looks fine i don't have any really big complaints against the other coloring of the earth rise that that dirty white I think the bright white looks good, but then again, he is pretty like plain Jane. But that's Will Jack. If you want the animation Will Jack, there you go. Moving on to some third party, just 
just the top off this video here, then I've gone long enough. So Magic Squares revealed their first three Dinobots. We got Grimlock, Sludge, and Slag, or Slug. Uh, they're first, this computer renders, they look pretty good. I, I got no complaints so far. Uh, so they're up for pre-order on Magic Squares website. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. You can pre-order from them. Uh, they look good, and I probably will be picking these guys up sometime soon. All right, moving on to this. This is a core class Megatron. Third party, though. So you got your tank G1 Megatron core class, but he's a tank. This one transforms into a gun. It's from Chang Tao. I guess that's how you don't say that. It's a CT-01. Pictures are up on here. I'm looking at it on my little phone, but you can see it here on the, on the video. It looks nice. Uh, I have no complaints in gun mode at all. That looks beautiful. Uh, I like to see it with some actual colors on it. And here he is, some more pictures. He's battling Optimus Prime. I don't know why they blurred his face out. Uh, I know the back cannon is awfully tall. Uh, but, I mean, it has to, I guess it's not a big deal. It's probably going to be a cheap price point anyway. Uh, he also comes with his mace and laser beak. Now, I did see some complaints about the back of his legs being pretty hollow. We did see the gun mode. His legs have to fold up over the thighs, so this guy to have some hollowness to go over the thighs. It looks like he's going to sort of share part of the transformation, the old, uh, I think back then it was Legend Scale, but they're really small, small Transformers, and they made a Megatron into a gun. This is about the same time as Revenge of the Fallen was out. Um, I think Rap, that movie came out, it's about 2010 or so. Um, they made a little bitty uh, size Megatron, actually transformed into a gun, and he was orange-tipped. So, they, I think they're sort of taking some of that transformation, for the, at least for the legs here. It's just going to fold up over his thighs. But, like I say, he comes with laser beak. He comes with his mace. He looks really good. He looks sort of like the tank Megatron, too, with the arms. Because he's got the bottom parts coming over the hands. I mean, for being a core class size Transformer, he's going to mesh right in with your core class Optimus Prime and all that. I'm probably going to pick this guy up. I, I want to see how this guy turns out. And we have a color render right here. He looks really good. I mean, I got no complaints about that render at all. Except for this, the gun backpack. If he don't turn out looking like that, yeah, he's a definite pickup for me. So it's been a very long video. I'm trying to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. I was just trying to get one long video. I Like I said, the chapter breaks. I hope y'all used that. I hope you just didn't check out 30 seconds in. I'm trying to get my thoughts and opinions. I'm really excited for the trading cards. I'm excited for the album. There's a lot of stuff coming out this year. Uh, there's t-shirts. I've already seen. Uh, like I guess I put some pictures up on the video. But you can go to Amazon. There's a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, it, it's going to be a fun year, hopefully. Really excited for these third parties. Third party Megatron, the album, the trading cards. Definitely for the fight pack of Transformers. You know, I have all of the characters already, except for that G1S Hound. I really want to see how that fight pack turns out. I'm also excited for the Origins World Jack just to get them so I can have that little gimmick going on. And the comic book versions of Grimlock and uh, Shockwave. Or neat little things they're doing. I'm, I'm kind of happy to see them doing something different. Serving the collector side. The comic book collector side. People who like the comics more than the car cartoons. And say the G1 toys. And they want those little color changes we got in the comics. That we don't get it no otherwise. And you see New Age making a lot of their toys. And they do comic book you know, colors. All the characters. I'm glad to see Hasbro starting to do that as well. I like to see them bring out a Megatron. And Optimus Prime. I really do like the color variations on those characters from the comics to the actual G1 cartoon. Let me know down below what you're most excited for. This 40th anniversary of G1 Transformers. Till next, peace out.